Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla review, and today I'll be reviewing the high grade Gundam Elrith Jew. So before I actually start this review, I just want to apologize. I know I said I was going to make more reviews this year, but a lot of things have happened. Um, personal stuff, school, work, and even house changes. So I couldn't really review anything as much as I wanted to. It just, I just couldn't. Uh, a lot of things wore me out, but it's summertime and everything's kind of settling down. And I'm just ready to back to, <laughs> what the heck? I'm ready to go back in it. So yeah, stick with me. Uh, a lot more reviews are going to be coming out. I have a ton of kits that I really want to get through. And, uh, for example, the the new Master Grade Narrative Gundam uh, C-Packs of Urkel. I just, I have it right here in, in my desk. And I just really want to build it. So I want to get through this review. Enough talking. Let's get into this review. So here is the high grade fully built. And I did add some panel lining to this. This is the end product of, so I'm not going to do any customization because this kit doesn't really need anything else. It already has a nice sort of matte top coat on the white and basically on everything. So it just doesn't need anything. It's really, it feels really good, really premium. And because I guess that's because I got it from Premium Bandai. Now, if you don't know what Premium Bandai is, it's a website for Bandai products that are sort of limited time, limited edition, I guess. So they're, they're not retail. And a lot of people don't like it because if you're not living in like Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, uh, Europe, or the United States, you're not gonna get this kit uh, anywhere else for like, the, I guess, the price that Premium, get, Premium Bandai gives it. So you're gonna have to get it from resellers. And yeah, just, it sucks. But fortunately, I live in the US, so I was able to pick this kit up, and I'm really happy that I did because this kit looks really, really good. Just detail wise, proportion wise, this has to be my favorite Witch Mercury design. The gun, gun arm system, I love how it's like the a part of the face actually with the visor and everything. It just looks really good. I love the armor. I just can't stress enough how good this kit looks and how it feels too. Uh, little color uh, corrections are needed, but only for one thing, and that is for that sort of ball, the where the it connects with the legs. It just it's supposed to be the inner frame, but it's white, but it doesn't really bother me sort of because it does match with the white with the legs, so I guess it kind of clears that. But yeah, just looks really good, really good lighting. If you get it under correct lighting, you will be able to see that sort of uh, the, the face, the gun arm face, which is really cool. I really dig the design. Looking at the inner frame right here, it looks really good. Now, if you have built the, I guess the Gundam Elrith, obviously where it's, uh, where it's based off, story-wise and um, I guess model kit-wise, uh, yeah, it is a part of it, and I guess also for the Gundam Aerial too, sort of, not everything's quite correct, but yeah, mostly the Gundam Elrith, so if you have built that before, it's very really similar, but just the armor changes everything, it just, armor looks really good on this, and with, of course, with the inner frame of the Witcher Mercury series, or the line of it, the ball joints on the hands, are very loose so yeah you can't really use you can't really play with it too much before it get really loose so you have to tie it up uh, so yeah that's really the only big problem for that inner frame build wise no minor no complaints here it just yeah you you'll love this kit if you're a beginner or if you're you know have been building complex for a while so yeah just really great build i really enjoyed it let's move on to the articulation now so starting with the head, it is on a ball joint and a hinge joint, so it can look all the way up and all the way down, 360. Of 
course with the uh, joints right there on the arms really good and the shoulders uh, armor likes to come off and as well with the arm so yeah another problem with the inner frame of course the ball joint hand does like to come off a lot really loose and stuff but yeah just not terrible it's very similar to the, a lot of the uh, high grades which mercury lines so yeah it does have its faults and problems but the lack of um, the shoulders skirts uh, does really make it more articulation articulate oh, what the heck articulated <laughs> and yeah just it's a pretty pretty standard but pretty pretty good uh, articulation to do some really cool poses and some you know sitting poses and of course the kneeling pose which is kind of I guess rare in my opinion for high grade kits but yeah really cool poses can be done and I always figured this uh, sort of design to be more like a I guess like a street fighter design because of the big old legs and stuff but yeah it looks really cool uh, if, especially if you have those open-handed hands from that other jetpack accessory but yeah this is everything that it comes with not a lot as you can see and the main seller is the giant arm Gundam arm I really don't know what this is or where it's from I haven't gone too far with the manga uh, I just I just know it's an arm <laughs> and it looks really cool it's a tiger arm and yeah pretty good articulation fingers can move um, I guess the, I don't know I don't know what body part you would call that but things move on this uh, giant arm so it's pretty cool now the way you sort of attach it on isn't really good because the ball joint being really loose on the hand so they know that so they added a little adapter to help but in my opinion it kind of sort of doesn't do it doesn't really do anything it just kind of comes off a lot in my copy but once you get it on there it looks really cool just yeah it was really cool uh, I did some I did sort of recreate the um, I guess the box art poses and Creating them looks really cool, just so yeah. Just giant arm gets a thumbs up on me. And if you are wondering if you can swap the, if you can make it a left-handed arm or the right-handed, yes, you can. Uh, you can just swap out the thumb to make it left-handed. So if, if you're a madman that got two of them, or or yeah, if you or if you're just crazy and got two of them, you get you can double fist them, whatever. Or if, I guess if you got the bootleg version, which you shouldn't because this one's so much better. But yeah, if you want to make it the, I guess the pew pew version, the gun version of it, uh, from the box art, it's sort of really awkward to do that pose. So yeah, I don't recommend it. Doesn't look really, doesn't look that good. But yeah, just there it is. And if you are wondering hey, if you can put it on the back for some reason, I guess to have it like a backpack. Yes, you can. With the adapter, it doesn't really look that good. The blue really the contracts with it. And I did break it. I, br I did break that little fin off. But cement really helped. And as the time of reco uh, recording this voiceover, it broke off again and I can't find the piece. <laughs> but yeah. Time for size comparison, starting with the SD Gundam, the high grade RX 782, and the high grade Zaku 2, the high grade Gundam Aerial, the Master Grade Jesta, and the full mechanical Gundam Aerial, and of course the water bottle. So, yeah, this kit has been overall pretty good. I really love this kit. It's one of my favorite designs from the Witch from Mercury my favorite Witch from Mercury kit and just overall really cool really great great build great design just if you ever find this kit get it because it's really it's just a really cool kit to have the lack of accessories is going to bring it down because just I wish it had more stuff at least but the giant arm is okay to say the least so that's why I'm going to give it. Yeah, a 4.5 is sort of deserving. It's really good, but just it's the lack of accessories and some of the faults on the 
I guess the inner frame really do bring it down for me. So a 4.5 is what I think it deserves. But don't get me wrong, it's a really great kit. You should get it. And yeah, that's all for this review. Thank you so much for watching if you made it till the end. And yeah, just be stick with me because I'm going to do a lot more reviews. Um, the the Master Grade Gundam narrative. I'm really excited to build that. So I'm going to do a lot more reviews. So stick with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.